But hi, my name's Sanj, I'm a technical manager here at Fabric in London. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of us. Uh, we're now uh, just working on uh, new loads of equipment with uh, Alan Heath and uh, other companies, obviously. We're trying to make it a bit more easier for all the companies that are bringing out new little digital vinyl systems and stuff to be able to bring their stuff in and make it work so that an engineer does not have to go to the back of the mixer and keep replacing all the wires every time. So Alan Heath have come up with this new patch bay. Now it's quite a simple project, you plug all your inputs in on the back of uh, the mixer, of the uh, patch bay sorry, and then you wire the deck outputs into your Serato or your tractor vinyl, whatever you have. And then you wire the inputs, the outputs of the tractor or the Serato vinyl or whatever system you're using back into the mixer inputs on the front here. So literally speaking you'll have a patch bay set up on the side, everything wired up into the patch bays. You can then check, you can go internal or external. So in other words, internally it will just run as a normal DJ system. Externally it will run off the tractor vinyl system or the Serato vinyl system, whatever system you're using. I keep saying there seems to be so many coming out now at the moment. Um, Literally just to make it easier so that no one needs to go to the back of a mixer. Most mixers are installed in most clubs so they're usually countersunk, etc, etc. So you can't get at the cables anyway easily. So, you know, at Fabric we're a bit different. Nothing's actually countersunk. It's all that as though we change mixers. We do a lot of things for DJs that a lot of other clubs don't do. So for us, obviously, it's going to come in quite handy. So literally speaking, we'll have this on the side somewhere where then someone will just come in and just literally plug in and play. That's what the whole idea of the DVA. Fabric, we've got Tractor, we've got Serato. You know, any system that's worth having, we've got here and we put it in. We test it to the best. Any problems, we work with the company to iron them out. There's, as far as I can see at the moment, there don't seem to be no problems with this. We're actually using it. We'll be putting it into room one and room two within the next couple of weeks. And uh, we're moving forward from there. Sanj, what's your background? Where'd you learn all this experience, all this knowledge? Uh, let's just speak, I've been a mobile DJ from the age of about 15. Run my own company for, well, my own base one discos for many, many moons. Got bored, left that. Always been in ministry, been you know, Camden. I've worked with Dave Parry, ministry, Camden. Literally all over the world. Went out, lands Royal, DJ'd out there for six odd months. Uh, done loads of stuff. And then, uh, literally speaking, the day after this opened, Dave Parry phoned me up and said to me, uh, can you come in and wire a few cables up for me? And literally the rest of it is history, as they say. Literally from there, I've taught myself everything that was anything to do with the club. Reference sound systems, control systems, lighting systems, laser systems, everything. I just built my own knowledge up of everything. And literally speaking, when Dave Parry left, uh, I was obviously the best choice to actually carry on, uh, as though I was running all the nights anyway. And that was quite a while ago now, wasn't it? So you're obviously still here. Yeah, that's uh, five years ago that was. Yeah. I've been in charge now five years. And I think out of the five years, we've not moved out of the top two of the world's best sound systems in five years. And I'll be honest with you, I don't expect to move anywhere. Cool. What do you think makes, you know, to be in that league? What, what do you think is some of the important things? I think some of the main important things to make us reach them technically is actually caring about what you do. You know, you've got to have the care that, you know, literally I'll come in every night, I'll clean each deck, I'll clean each CD player, I'll clean the mixer. You know, it's little things that people don't see. You know, they think, oh, hold on, he's the manager of the club, he's not going to do nothing. And the last thing they see me do at six o'clock in the morning is standing here with a cloth and wiping my CDs down, my decks down, putting covers over them, little things like that. And obviously being in the room and listening to what's going on is the main point of this whole thing. No use being an engineer if you're going to be sitting in the back room all night because you're not going to hear exactly what's going on in it. Cool. We well, are known for a great sound and I know everything when, when the DJs show up that all the gear works so obviously you are very careful with it and looking after it aren't you? Yeah, I spent many many days in there during the week just playing that's uh, some you know, that is one of my perks you know, how many people get to play with the world's best sound system as a bit of fun. You know, cool. I've got the Allen Heath 92s, I've got the V6s, 
I've got so many mixers, it's shocking. People, people are just like, Pff. and <laughs> it's great, you know. And I've got Tractor, I've got Serato, I've got everything that's in the club does not come in until I've checked it personally and feel I'm comfortable with it. If I'm not comfortable with it, how the hell is the DJ going to be comfortable with it? 